Hello and welcome back to Everyday Physics. This is the first video for Topic 2. Topic 2 is looking at why does your kettle boil. So this video is just an introduction to this topic. Welcome to Topic 2 of Everyday Physics. In this topic we're going to be looking at the physics behind what makes a kettle boil. So in this topic, specifically, we're going to be considering heat, which in physics has a special meaning. Heat is a transfer of energy. And we're going to be looking at different mechanisms through which heat can be transferred. We'll be looking at how much energy you need to add to substances such as water to change their temperature. We'll also be looking at how much energy you need to add to something to make it change state. So to make ice melt, for example, or to make water turn into gas. And so that's what happens when a kettle boils. We'll be revising power a little bit because to heat this kettle, we add the energy as electrical energy and it is then transferred through heat into the water, which causes the water to increase its temperature and hence increase its internal energy. In this topic, we're also going to start having a look at experimental techniques. So as part of this topic, you're going to be conducting an experiment at home where you'll be using an electric kettle and a stopwatch to measure the specific heat of water. So specific heat, as we'll learn, is how much energy you need to put in to raise the temperature of water one degree C. So I hope you enjoy this topic.